I think we're going to live in a world where there are going to be hundreds of millions of billions of different AI agents. This is what we call agent. And so these agents, we call this agentic workflows. Everyone is talking about them. But what is exactly an AI agent? You have used ChatGPT. However, he doesn't have access to anything outside that chat. It is like saying what happens in the chat stays in the chat. But what if ChatGPT could take actions outside that chat, like searching your files, booking meetings, or even running code? That is not just AI. That's an AI agent. In this video, you will learn exactly what is an AI agent, very clear without any complex stuff. We will start from things you already know, like ChatGPT, then large language models, and finally connect the dots to understand AI agents. We will also clarify some popular AI terms like agentic behavior and drag. By the end, you will be able to say, ah, now that makes sense. Hey, my name is Diego and I am a networks and systems engineer based in Paris. And I like breaking down tech concepts into simple and visual explanations. If you want to support my project, feel free to subscribe. And that's all, back to the video. Let's start with something you already know. ChatGPT. As its name says, ChatGPT is just a chat interface. What is behind that chat is something called a large language model. In this case, the model name is GPT. This LLM has been trained on massive amount of information to predict answers to our questions. That's how it can sound very smart. But ChatGPT doesn't know everything. For example, it doesn't know my list of tasks for tomorrow. And also, it cannot do everything. For example, it cannot control my calendar to plan a meeting. It is like a brain with without eyes or hands. Okay, so imagine giving that brain access to your calendar and your email. Now you will be able to tell, hey ChatGPT, check my calendar for tomorrow, summarize the schedule, and email one of my colleagues for a possible time slot for our meeting. Now it's not just generating text, it is performing a specific tasks using a specific tools. This setup is called an AI workflow, or sometimes tool augmented LLM. But let's go one step further. What if this system could break down a task into steps, decide the best tools to use, and even repeat the task until it gets the best result. All this without you managing it. That's what we call an AI agent. For example, imagine asking this AI to help you plan a trip. It will check prices, find hotel options based on your past preferences, compare travel times, and book everything for you. That will be cool, isn't it? But that's not all. After booking everything, it will keep checking if it finds better flight deals. It doesn't just respond. It plans, acts, learns, and adapts. In the AI world, this ability to autonomously make decisions and take actions, it is called agentic behavior. Another term that is important to know, and we have been hearing a lot, is RAG. RAG stands for Retrieval Augmented Generation, and it is used to describe the part of the flow where the AI agent constantly retrieves your personal information, like your travel history, previous hotel preferences, or book market places from your past trips. Put it all together, and you have a system that thinks, retrieves what it needs, decides and uses the best tools, and works to achieve the requested goal. We already have early examples of AI agent systems in action. Most of us have seen Manus, an AI agent from China that is performing several tasks by itself. Okay, so let's make a summary. ChatGPT is powered by a large language model. We can say that it's a smart text image generator. If we connect the specific tools, we get an AI workflow. If we add goal setting, memory, tools manipulation, and adaptability, now we have an AI agent. If this video helped you to understand AI agents better, give me some feedback in the comments. I will appreciate it. And that's all. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.